Step back into the early 70s seconds, a time of shifting social norms and burgeoning progressivism. Maud, a television series born in 1972, resonated with audiences seeking relatable narratives and bold discussions. Led by the formidable B. Arthur, the show delved into societal taboos, tackling issues like women's liberation, politics, and relationships with an unapologetic honesty rarely seen on TV at the time. Its impact went beyond entertainment, sparking discussions around feminism, reproductive rights, and personal autonomy. The character of Maud Findlay, an outspoken and opinionated woman navigating a changing world, became an emblem of strength and resilience. For many, Maud became a mirror reflecting their own struggles and aspirations. Its unflinching portrayal of societal challenges sparked conversations that rippled far beyond the screen. This prompts the question, is there a particular scene or moment in this TV series that has had a lasting impact on you? As we reminisce about this groundbreaking series, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Maud? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to this show might echo with others who found solace or inspiration in its narrative. Let's unravel the timeless impact of Maud. Toad's three stories add depth to its legacy. B. Arthur, known for her role as Maud in the 1972 TV series, had notable experiences beyond the show. In 1975, during Maud's run, she starred in the film Mame alongside Lucille Ball, a decision she later regretted due to the film's failure. Additionally, while still on Maud in 1978, Arthur appeared in the widely criticized Star Wars Holiday Special, an experience she personally enjoyed despite its negative reception. Another interesting tidbit is the character Mrs. Naugatuck's name origin, derived from the Connecticut town of the same name, which has Native American roots. These instances shed light on Arthur's career beyond Maud, showcasing both successes and regrets in her choices outside the series. In the early days of Maud, there was a casting shift that altered the show's course. Doris Roberts, known for her talent, was initially set to play Vivienne. However, her interpretation clashed with the desired dynamic opposite B. Arthur's Maud. The director sought someone more contrasting, less forceful, more feminine. Roberts was let go, and Rue McClanahan stepped in, creating the character we came to know. This change, pivotal behind the scenes, set the tone for the show's evolving dynamics and interactions. It's a testament to the intricate balance needed in casting to bring a successful series to life. Norman Lear, the prolific producer behind groundbreaking sitcoms, cherished Maud as a standout creation among a plethora of successful shows from his production company. The series resonated deeply with Lear, reflecting his personal favorite among his prolific lineup. Its boldness in tackling societal issues through the lens of a strong, opinionated female protagonist struck a chord, aligning with Lear's commitment to pushing boundaries and addressing pertinent themes in his work. Maud didn't just captivate Lear, but also garnered attention outside its regular viewership. Mad Magazine satirized the show under the moniker Bod, showcasing its impact on popular culture. Furthermore, The Carol Burnett Show contributed to its cultural imprint by parodying the series through a segment titled Broad, highlighting its influence on comedy and entertainment beyond its primary broadcast. The resonance of Maud within Norman Lear's repertoire and its humorous reinterpretation in popular media testify to its cultural significance and enduring legacy in the realm of television comedy. Before B. Arthur took the lead in the 1972 TV series Maud, she hesitated, guest starring on a few episodes of All in the Family. Despite her aversion to flying, she reluctantly agreed, a decision that eventually led to her pivotal role. This behind-the-scenes story unveils the reluctant start to a character that would later become iconic, showcasing the chain of events that shaped the trajectory of the show. The series faced its share of controversies, notably when the character Maud had an abortion in a two-part episode. Aired in November 1972, it didn't stir much debate until after the landmark Roe vs. Wade decision in January 1973, which intensified discussions about abortion rights. This specific storyline sparked heated conversations, drawing both criticism and acclaim for its bold portrayal of a sensitive topic within a sitcom setting. The timing of its re-airing in the wake of a pivotal legal decision amplified its societal impact and triggered widespread discourse about the show's handling of controversial issues. 
After the groundbreaking two-part abortion episode in 1972, Maud faced both acclaim and criticism, sparking heated debates about societal issues. The controversial storyline aired before the Roe vs. Wade decision intensified discussions on abortion rights. The series' bold portrayal of sensitive topics within a sitcom setting contributed to its societal impact. B. Arthur, initially hesitant to take the lead role, eventually became an iconic character. Before Maud, she reluctantly guest starred on All in the Family, a decision that shaped the trajectory of the show. Arthur's aversion to flying and her eventual agreement led to her pivotal role in the series. Norman Lear, the prolific producer, cherished Maud as his standout creation. The series resonated with Lear, reflecting his commitment to pushing boundaries and addressing pertinent themes. Its impact extended beyond regular viewership, with Mad Magazine satirizing it as Bod and the Carol Burnett show contributing a parody titled Broad, highlighting its influence on popular culture. The casting shift with Doris Roberts being replaced by Rue McClanahan set the tone for the show's evolving dynamics. This behind-the-scenes change showcased the intricate balance needed in casting to bring a successful series to life. The ripple effects of Maude extended beyond its run. Producers made an agreement with Conrad Bain leading to his role in different strokes. This post-mod trajectory further solidified the series' influence on the television landscape. B. Arthur, renowned for her iconic portrayal of Maude, had notable successes before stepping into the 1972 TV series. She triumphed on Broadway, winning a Tony for her roles in Mame and Fiddler on the Roof. These achievements laid the foundation for her stellar career, leading to the unforgettable character that would define her television legacy. The series faced a pivotal moment with the Mod's Big Move episode, featuring Mary Louise Wilson as Representative Irene McIlhaney. This storyline, intended to set up a spin-off involving Maude running for senator, took an unexpected turn. Following the episode, B. Arthur quit the series, signaling a significant shift. The proposed spin-off transformed into Hanging In, starring Bill Macy as the freshman senator, altering the trajectory of the show and the fate of Maude's character. Notably, a controversial incident at the 1974 Emmy Awards involving Bill Macy impacted the show's recognition. Macy's provocative prank led to a response from the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, declaring Maude ineligible for Emmy Awards for the remainder of its run. Despite this setback, B. Arthur stood out with her exceptional performance, earning an Emmy in 1977 for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. These behind-the-scenes events, from B. Arthur's Broadway triumphs to the unexpected twists in the series' development, provide a nuanced perspective on the 1972 TV series Mod, showcasing the challenges and triumphs that shaped its course. As we bid adieu to the captivating realm of Maude, take a moment to journey back through time, where laughter echoed in the halls of the Harmons household, and poignant moments lingered in the air like cherished memories. This 1972 TV series not only graced our screens, but etched itself into the very fabric of our shared cultural history. Now, as the curtain falls, we invite you to reflect on the personal tapestry woven by Maude. What threads of connection do you find, intertwining with your own experiences? Was it the irreverent humor, the unyielding courage of Maude herself, or perhaps the echoes of an era that resonate with your own life's chapters? Our stories are often interwoven with the characters we welcome into our homes, and Maude is no exception. So, share with us the fragments of your journey colored by this iconic series. Your favorite scenes, the characters who left an indelible mark, or the lessons learned that still resonate. Let the canvas of Maud become a shared masterpiece. Your reflections transform this farewell into a celebration, a testament to the enduring impact of Maud. Connect with fellow enthusiasts, ignite conversations, and let the spirit of this series continue to thrive in the dialogues of today. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic voyage. Your time and interest have enriched our collective experience. Until next time, let the memories of Maud be the stories that bind us together.